This year, our student speaker is Brian Fisher. Brian is from Appleton, Wisconsin, graduating with a Bachelor of Science degree in biomedical science. While attending St. Norbert, Brian was very involved in student life, serving for two years on the Residence Hall Association Executive Board. He was a resident assistant, assistant hall director, and associate hall director. He will be moving to the North Chicago area to attend the Rosalind Franklin Medical School to pursue a career in podiatry. Please welcome this year's student speaker, Brian Fisher. President Kunkel, esteemed guests, faculty, staff, parents, family, friends, but most importantly, my fellow graduates of the class of 2009. Four years have seemingly flown by us here at St. Norbert College. It feels like only a few months ago, we were sitting in Old St. Joe's Church as our summer first year experience mentors were introduced to us to the theme of jock jams. So much anticipation of what was to come and the friends we would make consumed that entire event. Today, we sit here as another landmark class graduating from this excellent institution. The question I ask of you right now is this. What change has occurred since we first arrived here on the SNC campus? In reflecting, please remember, today is a celebration of the changes that have occurred and an opportunity to look forward at what we will accomplish. It is a common saying in life that everything can change in a matter of seconds. A midterm is going so well but then you get to the 15-point essay question asking you to describe the chitol nitrogen analysis and how it relates to solving a problem in quantitative analysis, and you have no idea what to write. Your grade just changed in a matter of seconds. <laughs> it seems that all hope is lost for your team to win the game, but then someone makes a miraculous play, and you win by a point as time expires. The outcome of the game changed in a matter of seconds. It seems as though your housing situation for next year is gonna be awesome. <laughs> However, the group right in front of you picks the last house on Third Street and you're forced to live in Burke Hall again. <laughs> your living arrangement just changed in a matter of seconds. Although these events are minor in the grand scheme of things, the fact that your world can be turned upside down in a matter of seconds needs to be recognized. Since we arrived here roughly four years ago, we have had at least 128 credit hours of classes. Translating that into seconds, each of us has had approximately seven million opportunities in the classroom to change in some way or fashion. However, as many of you realize, life at college encompasses more than simply classes. Our involvements on this campus have given us over 115 million individual chances to cause change. Within our years at St. Norbert College, our class has seen a lot of change occur. Administratively, we have seen the introduction of a new president to the college. There have also been many changes in the faculty and staff over the past four years. We have adopted a new green initiative on campus and have taken on a new mission statement and motto. A beautiful new library is currently, be, currently being built along with the new residence hall. In regards to athletics, we have seen a hockey team win the national championship. One of our own senior students won a national track championship. And now we are seeing the vision of a new outdoor sports complex become a reality. These accomplishments are a small list of occurrences, and I apologize for not mentioning more. But let's face it, there's not enough time in this commencement ceremony to mention all that the class of 2009 has accomplished. I know that individuals from this class have had a hand in every one of these changes, showing our dedication to changing our community here at St. Norbert College. Be proud of these accomplishments, knowing we are leaving this college reformed and refined for the future. The world-renowned author and doctor, M. Scott Peck, states that, and I quote, 
The truth is that our finest moments are most likely to occur when we are feeling deeply uncomfortable, unhappy, or unfulfilled. For it is in only such moments, propelled by our own discomfort, that we are likely to step out of our ruts and start searching for different ways or truer answers." End quote. Without taking any kind of poll, I can guarantee that every person in attendance here today has had many of the moments Peck talks about in this quote. An obvious amount of growth occurs in the college scene due to classes, but those lessons only scrape the surface of what change has truly occurred within us. We all entered college as young men and women, wet behind the ears and eager to learn. There have been difficult times and fun times, and today we are leaving as trained citizens and as women and men ready to act. College has taught us to love. Love ourselves, love our friends, and love our family. However, the struggles of college have also taught us to mourn. We, as a class, lost two amazing individuals along our journey here to commencement. Although both Andy and Kevin are not able to walk across the stage with us today, I know they were celebrating as each one of us received our diploma. The tough times have brought us closer together as a class, and we have continued to develop our relationships up to this day. Know that this college experience has transformed you, and you are all remarkable men and women who are sure to become leaders of this world. As I stand here in front of you today, I feel privileged to be able to look forward and see the changes that this class will cause. Brilliant businesswomen and men, doctors, lawyers, Teachers and artists will all descend from the class of 2009. Today's world is scary, but we are one of the few groups of people who have been trained with the tools to cause positive change. Barack Obama was quoted many times during his presidential, presidential campaign saying that, and I quote, change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we have been waiting for. We are the change that we seek, end quote. It is our time to step up to the plate and cause change in this world. If we do not act now, we will never fully comprehend all that could have been accomplished by this class. Just think, when we were younger, the coolest kid in town had a gigapet and a Furby. <laughs> Today, middle schoolers are carrying around iPods and Blackberries. A lot has changed. This change is a result of individuals using their abilities to improve technology. Looking back at my time here, the only regret that I have is that I wish I would have utilized more of my time to cause change, both in myself and in others. I hope and pray that none of us here have the same regret when we look back at our life after college. The average lifespan in the United States is about 78 years old. Putting you at the age of 22, each of us has approximately 1.7 billion chances to change the world. Utilize your talents and the beautiful gift of life that God has given to you, and I know that we will accomplish all that we desire. Remember, you can change everything in a matter of seconds. I will leave you today with one final quote from the remarkable Harriet Tubman. And quote, Every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember, you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. I thank you and God bless.